Good afternoon. My name is Chelsea Tabassian, and our team chose to do our case study on GE Aviation. Our other team members consist of Kayla Balthazar, David Brandstetter, Kurt Shu, and Hugo Lima. Corporate mission and objectives. GE Aviation has a works equation. It says we look at what the world needs multiplied by a belief in a better way and a relentless, relentless drive to build and invent things that matter, which equals a world that works better. GE explains this equation with the statement, we have a relentless drive to invent things that matter, innovations that build, power, move, and help cure the world. We make things that very few in the world can, but that everyone needs. This is a source of pride to our employees, customers, it defines GE. GE carries out this equation in their aviation branch through on-point solutions, maintenance, material, true engine, flight efficiency services, and a global network. On-point solutions is a service that establishes a unique and specific solution with customers to re reduce financial uncertainty. It eases the customer's mind. Maintenance is a plan to provide customers with cost-effective maintenance services. Materials is a way GE plans to provide customers with top-of-the-line parts. True Engine is not only GE's best product available, but also a program that benefits the customer by explaining the engine and how it will benefit them. Flight Efficiency Services are services that help customers track savings, for example, fuel efficiency for overall production and individual flights. Global Network allows customers to keep aircrafts at peak performance regardless of where they are in the world. Broad Marketing Objective Beth Comstock, Chief Marketing Executive, divides marketing into four sections or capabilities. Section 1, Create Marketing Innovation Internal. Number 2, is Integrate Collaboratively Within GE. Number 3, is Collaborate With Customers. And number 4, is Collaborate With Entrepreneurs. Ability 1, consists of future leaders who are hired to expound on what good marketing is and what's working in today's world. Capability 2 is top sales and marketing directors on the GE board discuss the best marketing practices and plan growth programs. Capability 3, to work with the customer. Find their needs, they build a relationship and become so valuable to the customer that the customer couldn't afford to not purchase from GE. Finally, Capability 4 is work with entrepreneurs. This helps GE gain ideas on new products that could change the world or perfecting existing products that can increase efficiency and effectiveness. GE's target market in the upcoming years is Boeing and the military because they need to upgrade in their flight technology. Hi, I'm Kayla Balthazor and I'm going to be talking to you about GE Aviation's Situation Assessment. GE Aviation has become a global provider for engines, systems, and services through their constant improvements in the aviation technology. They design, develop, and manufacture jet engines and integrated systems for military, commercial, business, and general aviation companies. They currently have seven segments in the GE Aviation department. These seven segments are commercial engines, commercial engine services, military engine and services, BGA and integrated systems, avionics and digital solutions, and avio aero. The three main segments that impact the most revenue for the GE Aviation Department is the commercial engines, the commercial engine services, and the military engine and services. Now let's take a look at GE Aviation's competition. Their main competitors are Safran, Pratt & Whitney, and UTC Aerospace Systems. UTC wants to be the top spot in global aircraft engine market and wants to knock GE Aviation out of the park. This is why both companies have entered into a joint venture in order to share their research, expenses, and expertise with other companies in order to focus on increasing their market share. The second competitor, Pratt & Whitney, is the head of GE Aviation in the military engine market currently with 11,000 military engines in service worldwide. They have also become one of the largest aircraft programs in the United States due to their F-135. 
The last competitor is Safran. Safran has created a propulsion system that meets the requirements of performance, reliability, cost-effectiveness, and environmentally friendly, which brings their revenue up. Now that we've seen their competition, let's look at their internal situation assessment. The first thing I'd like to talk about is their strengths. One of their strengths is technologically advanced. The reason for this is that GE Aviation invests millions of dollars towards their technology advancements each year in order to keep up with the trends in the market and keep their commitment to their advanced technological um, testament. The second strength is that their company has barriers to entry. The reason for this is because there is billions of dollars needed up front in costs to design and build new jet engines. The third major strength is that there is an increased opportunity in the aircraft engine sector for GE Aviation. GE Aviation has a chance to grow and increase their sales in this sector due to the demand for high quality engines in the commercial aircraft industry. GE Aviation works on big initiatives allowing many of the employees to find inspiration in what they do for their company overall. The company has the resources, the technology, and the history to keep them afloat even during bad economic times. The one negative internal aspect of GE Aviation is the fact that they are such a large organization with a history of acquisitions. In other words, GE Aviation could be in trouble in the future due to rising challenges in communication and business navigation. Along with their internal assessment, there are other factors in the company analysis that have to be implemented in order to see their brand image and keep quality up to par. The first factor is their technological assessment. The company has a policy to be consistent with the changes in their technology in order to have the top products in the industry. As GV Aviation changes their technology, the company has to keep investing more money into training their employees on the new advancements to ensure that they have the required skills to manufacture the engines correctly. Along with the technological advancements, the political assessment of their company is faced with issues that could cause sales to decrease for the company overall. The reason for this is because the government is always changing the regulations and trade control laws on a yearly basis, making it difficult for GE Aviation to produce engines that will always meet the current standards. GE Aviation is dedicated to serve the consumers with the best quality and technological advanced products in the industry. So their social assessment is key for their success and plays a vital role in making sure they meet their consumers' needs and wants. GE Aviation's engines and on-point solution have become vital products for their company due to the demand for them by commercial aircrafts and several other companies. The reason for the increase in demand for these two products is due to people's desires to want to explore the world or travel at faster speeds from point A to point B. Hi, my name's Chelsea, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about product market definition for GE Aviation. Basically, GE Aviation has six engine programs, the GE NX, the GE 90, CFM 56, CFG, GP 7200, and the T700 CT7. Basically, these are their engine programs that they provide to their product as their profit, product offerings. They also are planning on adding four additional programs to this engine program they already have going. They are always staying ahead of technology, always researching and ensuring that they are keeping up with the latest technology and staying ahead of their competitors. In addition to these, this wide product offering of different programs that they offer, they also have something that is really great, which is their on-point solution. This is more of a service that comes in addition to their program. It consists of maintenance services, material, and asset management services, which comes in handy for their big accounts. Some of their customers consist of national and global customers. One of their really big accounts is the Boeing 787, which is a new airplane, and they use the GE NX program from GE Aviation. Additionally, the U.S. Department of Defense uses the T-700 slash C7 for their helicopters. In addition, the on-point solution services are used by Virgin Blue and Pacific Blue, which these two companies actually just signed some huge contracts with them. Virgin Blue and Pacific Blue use the on-point solution for engine maintenance, and Delta Airlines uses the on-point solution for maintenance and engine overhaul. Like I stated earlier, choosing GE Aviation is really great because not only do they offer the six engine programs, 
They're also adding the four additional ones coming very soon. They also have the on-point solution that comes along with the programs. Granted, they do customers have to pay extra for the on-point solution services, but it's really great because GE's employees know their products very, very well. Some benefits that also come along with choosing GE is their commitment to technology. Like I said earlier, they're always staying ahead of technology and ahead of their competitors to ensure that their customers are getting the best technology out there. Not only do they have great technology, but GE is very, very easy to work with and they are a truly honest company. In addition, the on-point solution is something that truly pays for itself. Like I said, you know, the employees of GE truly know the products, so they are the best to handle the products. In addition to all of the great benefits that GE has to offer, they have territories all over the United States, nationally and globally. Their headquarters is located in Evandale, Ohio, and they also serve the United States, China, Asia, and many other international locations. They have manufacturing facilities in Auburn, Alabama, Peebles, Ohio, Lafayette, Indiana, Asheville, North Carolina, Dayton, Ohio, Ellisville, Mississippi, Greenville, South Carolina, and Batesville, Mississippi. After looking at how many manufacturing facilities they have, as you can imagine, they have so many distribution locations, it honestly is way too many to cite. They're an incredible company and their services are phenomenal. Now we will talk about GE Aviation's and their market strategy. First was GA, GE Aviation's main goal. Brad Mottier, the Vice President of GE Aviation, has set a long-term goal to try and reach by the year 2020. <laughs> they are aiming to grow its business above $1 billion of revenue before 2020. They plan to reach this goal by growing installed base and services, lead-in generation products, and place supply chain in the most optimal area for growth. <laughs> Currently, GE Aviation stands in three major segments of, the, of jet engines. These three sections include commercial aviation, business aviation, and military aviation. And now we will talk about their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. We'll start with strengths. One strength is they are, they are a world leader in technology. They practice business worldwide. They have 50 locations across the world. GE Aviation provides repair and maintenance for all categories of their aircrafts. They also provide a wide range of choices for military, commercial, and business aviation. And finally, have a well-balanced revenue stream among several sectors. Next for weaknesses. GE Aviation depends on a third party for raw materials. Using a third party can lead to problems here and there. Another weakness is risk of an engine malfunctioning, possibly leading to harm or possible injuries to anyone aboard the planes. And now for opportunities. One opportunity is if the economies can keep trending in a positive direction, more people will continue to be flying. More people flying leads to more planes, which means more engines for GE Aviations. Another opportunity is possibility of expanding business practices beyond supplying engines and repair services. And finally, for threats, there is always the possibility of new entrance, new entrance into the market. The second threat is the possibility of recession in the economies across the world. And the third threat is the company practices business worldwide, so cultural diversity and practices can come into play. We will continue with market strategy. Now we talk about potential markets. When it comes to commercial airline CEOs, CFOs, and chief engineer managers, there are three companies who stood out. Those three are Delta, Southwest, and American Airlines. Now for airplane manufacturers, there are also three companies who stood out. Those three are Airbus, Boeing Business Jets, Bombardier Aerospace. Next is Business Aviation. What came to mind was those companies who use planes for shipping products. These businesses are FedEx, UPS, and DHL. And finally, military aviation. Basically, any military planes could be a potential market. 
Let's talk about GE Aviation's stance on positioning. Based on GE Aviation's product leadership strategy and the long-lasting brand recognition of its parent's company, General Electric's, GE Aviation should pursue an overall position of quality, innovation, and investment. GE Aviation wants to convey an image in which will lead businesses to want to invest in long-term solutions and programs with GE Aviation. On-point solutions, which is a variation of the regular engine programs GE provides, should have a slightly different position to align with its consumer intimacy strategy. On-point solutions position should convey an image that positions the product and the consumer. My name is Hugo Lima, and I'm going to be talking to you about marketing programs. Um, the first thing that we came up with is to create a public relations department. This department would be a group of individuals that would seek out any opportunities such as aviation magazines, aviation journals, or aviation conventions where G Aviation could display its technology or publish reports explaining how its technology would be great for business to adopt and how they could save business money. The second thing that we came up with is an outbow sales force. This would be a group of individuals that would seek out any lead that they get from any of the conventions or any other place that would seek out the potential customer and try to sell them, giving them give them a sales pitch and um, follow up with emails and phone calls as such. The last thing that we came up with is a digital marketing outreach. Um, this would be an outsourced thing to a company such like uh, 360i here in Atlanta that would um, improve their website in terms of SEO where they would show up more on Google search results and also SEM which is paid per click, paid advertisement that Google provides as well publish press releases online content on blogs showing their technology and um, ebooks online uh, all these things would track and attract a lot of um, digital visibility and could potential get G Aviation many leads where their outbound sales force would follow up um, the public creations department would need at least a $300,000 budget a year Outbound sales force would need at least a million for um, salary for their employees, and the digital marketing would be at least 150,000 a year paid to the company. GE results. GE signed an on-point solutions agreement with GOL Airlines, and are predicted to save. GOL Airlines $100 million over the next five years. H80 Turboprop signed a different agreement which has increased their annual sales of around $2 million. In 2013, the aviation branch annual revenue grew 8% to $22 billion, which comprised of about 15% of all GE revenue. In 2014, that revenue grew to $24 billion. GE has grown a lot in recent years and expects to continue growth in the near future.